Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded. I was on a break. Anyways, I am back and this time with a bag. Uh, so we're back and I'm going to be posting new videos on this channel and I'm going to be seeing a lot more in makeup and skincare in a lot of things, lots of tips and tricks and all of new things and stuff. Uh, because it was in a break and because I had not done something celebrity inspired for a very very long time. So I thought why not just start with that. So today what you see is something inspired by Vipika Padukone. Uh, so so uh, she was doing uh, something for Sabhi Sachi I saw her in a white beautiful sari and she was wearing this look. It is simple, it is elegant, it is beautiful. So the beautiful eyeliner, it's got so much going on but it's still so elegant and so beautiful and I'm really inspired by what she does and how she wears and stuff. So created this look for you uh, and uh, you will see shortly how we can achieve this. It's very simple and very fast. And you're gonna love it. So yes, before you leave this video, please do subscribe to my channel, do like the video, and do share. It means a lot to me. Also, to comment below what else you want me to do for you, what else you want to see in this space of mine. Also, uh, love to hear from you in on my other social media. All the links will be below. And uh, anything else you need to tell me, I need to know. You want me to do for you, you want me to answer for you. Please comment below. And please, please, please do subscribe or I get into more rambling and nonsense that which I keep doing all the time. <laughs> let's get started with the video. So let's get started with the makeup. For priming my face today, I'm going to use the Miss Claire uh, Studio Perfect Professional Makeup Primer. Now, um, this also helps with anti-redness and stuff. It is a very nice primer. It's a very affordable primer and it just works Great, uh, brilliantly for my skin. So this is how the consistency is. I'm just going to rub it on where I have enlarged pores. It feels very silicone as well as um, it just uh, smooths your skin out completely. So I will. I just like to wear such primers where I have open pores. So it gives you a nice blurring effect. If you can see my uh, <coughs> these are getting blurred. I'm already wearing lip balm uh, before the application of anything. Because that is necessary. Correcting, I'm going to be using uh, the Elegant Pro Conceal uh, Color Corrector um, underneath my eyes. Okay, be very careful with this one because it is a little high. I'm just going to do my forehead. Uh, in color and pigmentation, so if you use too much, you will have a red face, an orange face rather. So just a little, and I'm going to be taking my oval brush. Like this one and just blending that out quickly. So that's blended out. You can see what a massive difference a color corrector makes. So yeah. Now moving on to foundation, I'm going to be using. Uh, if you see the picture, what Deepika is wearing, she looks um, nicely highlighted. When I mean, when I say highlighted, she's not highlighted with. Uh, the shimmer highlighters we use but the center of her face is really put forward she's got a nicely uh, highlighted uh, <coughs> cream concealer on her face so uh, I want to do a little bit of that so for foundation I'm going to be using a mixture of my favorite Maybelline Fit Me I love these so I'm going to be using the shade 332 Warm Honey uh, with the shade 310 Sun Beige I'm going to be mixing this this is my original shade I'm going to be mixing a little lighter shade just to attain a little Difference. Just to take the axis. I'm gonna take a flat kabuki. I'm gonna take a flat kabuki and I'm gonna just pick up the product and buff it onto my face. Foundation is buffed in. Uh, you see the color match looks really much nice. It looks nice and bright. Now to get in with concealer. So I don't think I like need concealer concealer. So I'm going to use like an highlighting concealer. So again, I'm going to be mixing two products. One of them is my favorite NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer, Total Cover, uh, Total Coverage Concealer. This is beautiful. It's in the shade tan here. It looks like this. And my new favorite is Miss Claire. So they've just come out with these uh, concealers 
which look like this and this color is fair so if you see the color this is pretty light for my skin tone and this is somewhere in between so uh, <clears throat> this has got more of its orange undertones and this has got uh, the yellow, yellow undertones so you just want to mix and match this so the mix I'm going to go in very lightly because the consistency of this concealer is bam it's very thick and a little is like too much so just that much and then I'm going to pick up a concealer brush um, like a round concealer brush I'm just going to dip it in my mascara and you don't want to put that much concealer oh my god <sighs> you gotta take some out so yeah I've adapt some out and this is taking too much product I am going to take it on my eyelid so we can avoid using an eyeshadow primer yeah okay. For contouring, I'm going to be using this Morphe palette. I love this palette. It's my line C palette for Morphe, and this is how it looks. It's got these beautiful contour shades. It's got a nice peachy shade here. I don't know. Ow! And it's got a nice highlighter, and I can set my face with these shades again. It's got a banana shade and stuff. So for contouring, we're going to be using a mixture of mixture of these two. Uh, and I really like this as well. I think. Let's see. Um, getting. I am going to be taking my angle brush. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to be dipping it in this. And we're going to pout. When you pout, you get the hollow of your face. And just draw in the hollow. So, she has a very highlighted face. So, we need to work a little on the contour because only when you contour well, your highlight uh, shows up. So, more product at the beginning. At my at the edge of my ear and I'm just pulling a little downwards nothing too harsh so if you see the difference you see the chiseled face this side and that's how we go I also will contour my forehead because damn I have a big one So yeah, uh, the jawline to cancel that chin. And just wear a bit the nose. Nothing too harsh again. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. And what do I like to do with my nose control? Is I just run my fingers down and yeah, blends out all the lines. I'm going to pick up uh, the same uh, palette. I'm going to get this banana shade to set all my uh, uh, cream contour with cream. cream highlight that we did. I'm so sorry. And I'm gonna take my I'm gonna take my uh, uh, oval brush and just go in again to take out all the creases because cream under my eye is gonna crease like it's no one's business. So as soon as I have um, sort of taken out the creases, immediately go in with setting it with the powder. And that is how you can avoid under eye creasing I'm gonna set it I love how this banana powder looks on my face it's so brightening and the same on the other eye oops <clears throat> okay so for that
and then I'm gonna set the rest of my face with the same powder. All the places where I have highlighted. Okay. So we've done the base and I think it looks pretty nice and pretty good. I'm going to render the blush very fast. I'm going to be using this Essence Silk Touch Blush in the shade Baby Doll. I love this color. It's a nice pinky peachy color. Look at that. Beautiful. Essence makes, I think Essence makes one of the beautiful blushes. I'm going to take a blush brush, it's going to dip. Okay, this got a lot of this has got a lot of kickback, but it's very affordable and so to the smile and place it just above my contour. Uh, she doesn't have a lot of blush on her face, but just a little pink peach sort of a shadow, so just adding very little. I'm not a blush person myself either, so yep. It has a little bit of highlight, not something very, very blinding. So I'm gonna take my Morphe palettes and there's a highlighter right in between there. So if you can. I'm sorry, have a look at something like that. I'm gonna be picking up my brown brush to this highlight. I'm gonna be dipping into the highlight. Wow, this has got no kickback. So yeah, taking off the excess and just placing it on the high points. There. See? Just a very soft glow. That's what she has in what I see in the photograph. A few people know I'm all about highlighters right now. I love having that lining glow. So yes, the brush of my nose, keep it low, and yep, that's it. My eyebrows now. She has very uh, nicely filled eyebrows. She doesn't have something natural or something. So I'm going to be taking my NYX eyebrow pencil and crayon. No. It's the next eyebrow pencil in medium brown. It's medium brown, so it's a medium brown color with a pencil and with a brush on the back. Now, this is a very nice and very easy to use pencil. If you know how I do my eyebrows first, I go in and map them. So I create an edge at the bottom and then I create one at the top. And then I just fill in the sparse areas. Now, this is not very really pigmented or something. Uh, very, very, very waxy, which doesn't allow me to create precise shapes. So it's just perfect as a consistency and it allows you to work extremely well and easy. So once I'm done, I just like to take the brush and just take out any access. And yeah, there you go. On the eyes, I have already uh, uh, put concealer, a uh, value putting concealer, and I already set them. The eyes are very, very easy. It's all about the liner today. But we're going to add some depth and some dimensions to the. We're going to add some depth and some dimensions to the eye. For that, I'm going to be using my Makeup Revolutions uh, Redemption Palette Essentials Matte 2. This is how it looks. I love this palette because look at those colors. Just look at those shades. They are perfect nudes. They. They're not chalky, they're highly pigmented. Look at that. I love that, I love that, I love that. And they're beautiful. So I'm just gonna be, I'm gonna take my, I'm sorry my brush is not clean, but I'm gonna be taking a dapper brush. And I'm gonna be, be picking up this shade right here, the dark brown shade. I'm just gonna be picking up on the tip, dusting off the excess, and I'm just gonna put it right in my crease, right there. What this does is it just adds depth to your eyes then I'm going to be taking another fluffy blending brush and I'm going to pick up this color right here um, which is a lighter color which is a lighter transition color and just going to be cleaning up any harsh edges so it just looks like a clean transition, nothing too harsh and nothing too loud. <laughs> That's about it for the eyes and the eyeshadow. Let's get in with the liner. So if you see she has a nice winged liner going up 
all the way up to her eyebrows and that's what's making it look different so for the eyeliner I'm going to be using my favorite super liner perfect slim from L'Oreal Paris I probably use this in every video so it's got this felt tip applicator and it's it works wonders for making an eyeliner so I'm just going to start with the inside of my eye creating a very thin line very close to my lash line and then when I'm going to wing it I'm going to wing it from the bottom the bottom uh, water bottle line and go upwards that's how I like to connect my eyeliner just draw a line and I'm going to join So I've done the liner, I've added some falsies, if you can see it's a beautiful liner, it's going all the way up to your eyebrows, not into the eyebrow but extending there, you can just complete the bottom lash line. For the bottom lash line, I'm going to use the same brown colour I used on my crease, so <coughs> again I'm going to be picking up a pencil, I'm going to pick up a pencil brush, I'm going to be taking that same dark brown colour and depositing most of the colour at the corner of the eye and then putting it inward and I'm going to be picking up this dark brown color and this gray color mixing these two colors and placing it very close to the waterline next I'm going to be taking a cartel pencil this one's from Shambo I've run out of it I'm just going to draw Again, I'm not taking it all the way inside. The same pencil brush and just smudging this off. I'm going to be taking uh, my Wonder Pencil from NYX. So this is a nude pencil. It looks like a that. I'm going to fill in, be filling the waterline because there's so much black. A hint of nude may just open up your eyes. So I'm going to be putting this in my waterline. Moving on to the lips, again she has a very pinky, nudie thing going on there, so uh, I'm going to line I'm going to line my lips with this Pro Artist Satin Lip Pencil, this is called Brownie It's a shade like this, it's something between a wine and a nude No oh, wine, it's a brown, sorry Maybe I'm in love with the, the lipstick I'm going to be using a new match creamy lipstick in the shade New Nuance. This is a nice new lipstick and give it a little bit of pink. I'm going to be using the Miss Kiss of Matte Lip Cream in the shade 05. This is a cream lipstick. Just a little and finish up. My makeup revolution is perfect. Just let's have a shower in this. So for this dry some I take my fan brush and my highlighter and this just intensifies the glow all so much. Amazing. Let's highlight like it's no one's business. Oh, this is beautiful. So that's the final look. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Please, please, please do let me know how you like it, and if you want me to do any such celebrity inspired more makeup looks I will be very very happy to do that for you also do comment below 
and what more you want me to do, what other reviews, what other videos, what else you want to see from my channel. And I'll be very, very happy to do that for you. Also, please, please do subscribe, do like, and do hit that subscribe button. Because if you like me and my stuff, you will be seeing a lot more of that coming very, very soon. So, so until then, take care, ladies, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.